Today, we are setting up the Co-Print KCM set on the FlashForge Adventurer M5 Pro to enable multicolor printing. First, we need to prepare a USB flash drive to install mainsail on our printer. We'll download the required files and copy them to the flash drive. You can find the necessary files on our GitHub page, linked in the video description. Insert the USB flash drive into the printer and turn it on. Now, we wait for Clipper to install. Once the installation is complete, remove the USB drive from the printer. Now, let's connect the printer to Wi-Fi and retrieve its IP address. We start by removing the top cover of the printer. Gently flex the sides of the cover to detach it easily. Turn off the printer's power, then begin disassembling the stock print head. First, unscrew the cable holder and remove the PTFE tube. Next, remove the plastic cover that holds the print head cable. To access the print headboard, we first remove the top and front covers of the stock print head. Now, unplug the print head cable, disconnect the front cover's cable, and remove it. We unscrew the print headboard, unplug its connectors, and take it out. We will reuse this board for the X and Y axis sensors, so we set it aside for now. To remove the hot end, loosen the clamps and take it out. Unscrew the extruder gears and hotened fan assembly. Then take out the entire component. Finally, remove the extruder motor by unscrewing it from the print head. Now, we install the custom mounting bracket, specially designed for the Adventurer M5 Pro. We need four square nuts to secure it. After placing the nuts in their slots, tighten the screws to fix the part in place. You can download the STL file from our GitHub page, linked in the description. Since we need the X and Y axis sensors, we must reinstall the print headboard using a custom-designed bracket. To start, we remove the cable protector, which consists of approximately 16 clips. Now, we attach the print headboard to the mounting bracket and pass the print head cable through the correct slot. Once positioned, we secure it in place with screws. To secure the bracket to the print head, we unscrew the back panel screws, position the part, and tighten the screws. Before installing the chroma head, we insert the square nuts into the designated slots on the mounting bracket. Now, we remove the chroma head front cover and unplug the fan cable. We attach the chroma head to the mounting bracket and secure it by tightening the screws. Now, we connect the chroma head cable, secure it with screws, and reconnect the fan cable before closing the front cover.
Next, we attach the 8-in-1 module to the chroma head. To remove the stock PTFE tube, we need to take off the printer's top cover. This cover is held in place by two screws inside the printer. We remove these screws and use a spatula to lift the cover. We unplug the filament sensor cable, remove the PTFE tube holders, and attach the stock PTFE tubes. Then, we install the filament sensor, close the cover, and tighten the screws. After mounting the extruder blocks, we install them onto the printer. You can find the STL files for these parts on our GitHub page, linked in the description. To install the PTFE tubes, we move the print head to the farthest position and cut the tubes to the correct length. Then, we insert them into the 8-in-1 module. We repeat this process for the other extruders as well. Now, we connect the motor cables to the extruders. Next, we connect the motor cables to the KCM. followed by the USB Type-C cable. Now, we power on the printer and connect the USB hub. To access mainsail, we open a browser and enter the printer's IP address, adding colon 4000 at the end. In the machine section, we delete the printer.cfg file. Make sure to back it up before deleting. Now, we upload the new configuration files, which can be downloaded from GitHub. We open kcm.cfg, go to Devices, and before refreshing, we connect the KCM to the printer. After refreshing, we copy the new serial path and paste it into the serial section before saving and restarting. We open chroma to head.cfg, go to Devices, and before refreshing, we connect the chroma head cable first to the KCM and then to the printer. After refreshing, we copy the new serial path, paste it into the serial section, and save the settings. We now install custom designed support parts that allow us to reattach the top cover, making the printer compatible with ABS prints. After assembling the parts, we place them on the printer secure them with screws and reinstall the top cover. Now that the setup is complete, we open Orca Slicer, load the model, adjust scaling and colors, enter the IP address and bed dimensions, slice the model and start the print. This print took 21 hours and 38 minutes on the KCM-equipped FlashForge Adventurer M5 Pro. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your feedback in the comments.